Hello my friends and welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I wanted to do a Lionsgate portal message for you. I've been feeling it. Let's see what spirit wants to say. My name is Cindy and I appreciate you being here. Thank you for your likes and your subscribes. I appreciate it. I'm brand new building this channel and I am here to serve. So thank you very much for helping me get started. Let's see what spirit has for you for the Lionsgate portal. What energy surrounds us what do my friends that are watching this video right now need to see today for the Lionsgate portal what can they expect what is surrounding them what do you have for them let's see all right one more time let's see <clears throat> all right I'm gonna cut the deck and take the top card step into your power this came out on my uh, Instagram, I think it was the card of the day today, as a matter of fact, which is Sunday, the 7th of August. Step into your power. You are being guided to really step into your power right now and really feel that power and feel it deeper than you have ever maybe felt before. Really feeling um, in an energy of uh, stepping forward in something maybe you're feeling to do something maybe you have a side hustle in mind some kind of creative projects maybe you're getting a new job offer or something like that and it's time to really step into your power and go after what you want that seems to be a message for us if you haven't seen that on my Instagram go check it out instagram.com forward slash bringer of light 333 I have the tarot here. Let's see what the tarot wants to add to that. Stepping into your power. What is this message all about, Spirit? What do you have for the people watching this video right now? I see this one wants to come out. All right, so you have the hermit and you have the magician. And they happen to both be the same angel, Archangel Raziel. So the hermit... With this step into your power card, I feel like you maybe have been in a period of isolation. Maybe you have been in a period of the hermit mode where you have had to <clears throat> go inside and really find that light. And that is what this step into your power is all about, finding that inner light. It's the energy of really just kind of shutting everything out and really figuring out what you're all about and what you want to do in your heart and that seems to be the energy of what is going on in our world right now spiritually speaking so you might have taken a step back you might have been in this period of isolation and really just contemplating meditating and deciding what is in your heart to do with your next days and season of your life so let's see what it says it says time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude shine your light as an example to others seek out or become a spiritual mentor mentor self-discovery so stepping into that you might have create you might have discovered that you have something a light inside you that wants to shine and you you're maybe wondering if it's just you or if this is something you should do you should definitely do it you're being guided um, not only that but the, the hermit card is a destiny card so this is this is pretty much faded for you whatever you're you're thinking about doing you should move forward with it the magician tells you that you have all the tools to step into that power and move forward and get go after what you want you, you have all the tools to make your life how you want it to be. Magic is alive in your life. What you need to be a success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. So it sounds like with this, this is also a destiny card, by the way. In your reading so far, you have two destiny cards. So both being guided by the same Archangel Raziel. So if you call on Archangel Raziel for, to help you, he will. He's already guiding you, it looks like. Uh, the magician is all about manifesting. 
So, and the hermit is all about going inside and, and finding that light. You're manifesting that light inside and it looks like that is the energy of this portal. It's time to shine. It's time to find that light and shine. What is in you to do? What are you thinking that, what have you been thinking about doing? Is there a creative project, a spiritual business, uh, a new business that you've been wanting to do? Have you been, do you have a dream in your heart that you haven't moved forward on, but you've been thinking about it? Um, it's time to move forward on it. So we have three cards that came out. We have the King of Cups, Cancer Energy. And this is a, this may be you. This king is very trustworthy. He is very connected uh, spiritually. He's could be very intuitive. It could be a male or a female. It doesn't matter. It could be you. It could be somebody that you're dealing with. Um, he's devoted. He's cautious. Somebody that you can completely trust, honorable, a, a situation that is safe. A solid romantic friendship, or sorry, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor. So this reading so far looks to be like stepping into your power and really finding that thing that is being, uh, that is in you, that has been brewing, that you've been wanting to do. You might get some help from a king, this king energy here you might get a charitable benefactor this this person may step in to help you get started on whatever this is for you and it looks like it might be work because we have the seven of pentacles and the three of pentacles so it looks like it's it's going to be an income opportunity for you or a um side hustle if you will something that you have maybe a hobby that's going to end up turning into a, an income stream for you something that you love the three of pentacles is all about doing working hard on something that you love it's something that you could just do all the time because you love it so much and you're so good at it see how precise she is at her craft do what you love recognition for the highest quality of work especially creative endeavors being paid well for your craft working well with others an excellent reputation so whatever it is that you've been thinking of doing i feel like you love it very very much and it is time to step forward with it and if you already have um, step forward with something like this then it may be taking a shift in a, in a more positive direction. Maybe it's taken some time to get off the ground and now it's time to really take off because we have the seven of pentacles here and sometimes that means seeds that you've been planting for a long time, things that you've been waiting to culminate for a really long time. This is a, a card of patience. You might have been working hard on this for a while and really going within and discovering that do you really want to do this? And you have found that you do. And uh, you've been watering those seeds. You've been planting, planting and watering those seeds. And maybe you haven't seen much of a, of a return on them yet. Well, it's time for you to step into that power and manifest success with this. Let's see what this says. Seeds well planted. Efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future, unnecessary worry. So maybe you um, have been worried about this because it's taking a longer time than, than uh, you wanted it to or you thought it would. But this card says that you are getting recognition for the highest quality of work. And the seven, sorry, the seven and the three of pentacles equals the ten of pentacles. It's coming. There, there's something. You've been guided to do this. You've been guided to move forward in this. This is something that you were kind of born to do. And you've been working hard. And if you haven't moved forward with this yet, it's a really good time to, to get it started because it looks like you are going to be very successful. And <clears throat> it's going to be very fruitful for you. You may have help from this king energy which could be male or female somebody coming in to help you get started this this could be that benefactor and you can really trust this person and this person's going to feel like they're on the same page as you because they're going to match you in your passion and your um, emotions about this 
Plus, they are very honorable and dedicated and loyal. And they uh, may not tell you how much they appreciate you or um, believe in you because the king doesn't really tell his emotions, but they may think more highly of you than you realize and really want to help you. So that's very interesting. What else do you have for them? Can we get some more information on this king? This is something that you might have been sitting on for a while. It's time to move forward or you might have been sitting on it in planting those seeds and not seeing fruition it's time to, for that to shift and for success to come your way um, you may have been just kind of on hold you know the universe might have had you on hold for a while in this hermit energy developing your skills developing that light developing that magician in you really knowing your worth and and what you are capable of doing coming into that power and now it's time to go and we have a couple of cards here on the king as a matter of fact they fell out on the king oh shoot wow we have the two of cups and we have the ace of cups so this could be a partnership this king could be a partnership coming in to help you get your your uh endeavor what it whatever it is that you're doing they might come in and help you in a big big way and you might end up having a romantic partner out of it as well this is a soulmate energy this person could be a friend that feels like a soulmate it could be an actual soulmate falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic connection so there may be somebody who you connected with and you've kind of fallen out of touch with them maybe and they want to come in and help you build a business or build a business together or something like that and it could be it could lead to a very very loving connection don't give up on the people that you love and the ace of cups is a new beginning a new emotional experience beginning this was my card of the day on my instagram yesterday this is this energy is surrounding us this week a new beautiful emotional experience a romantic relationship or deep friendship awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights you may be moving homes um, this light inside you might have a, a spiritual gift that you want to move forward in. you might start a spiritual business because this card says that you could do that and all these cards are love cards so this king he may he or she may feel a lot more for you you may know who this person is and they may really want to help you get your business or your endeavor off the ground but they may do it because they believe in you but they also have a lot of love for you a lot of love for you but you might not know that because they don't tell you that but there it's here all of this love is here they they may see a future with you and you have the angel guiding them this has all been divinely guided. You've gone through a transformation. Coming into your light. This might have been taking a while. Oh, and you have a Three of Cups. This is celebration. This is also a resurgence of a romantic connection. And you have the Four of Wands, which can mean love also celebration. Some Lots of things to be grateful for. This could be a very good news very good news but it also leads to marriage and it says you could be moving homes which was also on the ace of cups so you might be moving celebrating after a period of transformation that probably was not fun coming into a lot of celebration and a possible resurgence of a connection here that may have been in separation Step into that power. Feel encouraged because this is a really good reading for the Lionsgate portal. You are stepping into some really awesome energy after a period of waiting and waiting and waiting for things to come to fruition. And I can, couldn't be happier for you. You definitely need to comment below and let me know what happens for you. 
Um, if it doesn't happen this week, it's in your energy, so it will show up for you. So if it hasn't already, so please let me know, comment below. If you want a private reading, that information is down below. And again, I just thank you for being here and thank you for uh, liking and subscribing. Have a great Lion's Day portal.